Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? We are gonna be going through my bronzer collection and decluttering. I've got powder bronzers here. I've got cream bronzers, liquid bronzers. I feel like this is probably the smallest part of my collection. I feel like this and powders, I just don't buy that often. And it has been years since I've decluttered these personally and I've never decluttered my bronzers for YouTube before. This is actually the second video in my like little declutter series. I really enjoy decluttering all of my powder blushes, so I'll have that video linked for you. And just before we get in, a little disclaimer, this is a true declutter for me, what I want. It's, you know, it is content in the terms that I want this to be entertaining for you guys, but I'm not going to get rid of anything that I don't want to. I'm not gonna keep anything that I don't wanna keep. This is for me, you're just here to watch. So I know that's an annoying disclaimer, but sometimes declutter comment sections can be very, very negative. So let's go ahead and start. So here is my little collection of cream liquid bronzers. As you can see, everything's a little messy here, but this is this is a pretty well-loved collection. So I have my Auric Glow Lust in the shade Pyrite, which obviously has some foundation on it. And I know that this is technically like a highlighter glow mix-in product, but for me, this is actually a bronzer and it is a beautiful, like glowy bronzer at that. Like it is perfect for my skin tone, like it adds like the most subtle bronzy glow. If you have fair skin, this shade is so, so pretty. So that is definitely going to be staying with me. And then I've got this bronzer here from Tower 28. It is in the shade Bronzino Sun Coast. And I don't like this that much. Oh my gosh. Hey, am I gonna be able to open it? Yes, I am. So here's what she looks like. The reason I don't love this is because I feel like it doesn't blend that well. It's like a very thick cream. Like just the texture is thick and sticky and I feel like you can get a pretty look with it, but it's definitely not my favorite. You can see it has like a little bit warm, more warmth than pyrite, um, but I feel like for ease of use, for color everything, if it was between this and pyrite for getting a glowy bronze look, I would choose pyrite every single time. So for that reason, I'm gonna declutter this. I've also been into making a pile for like Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't, and I'm gonna go back through it later when I'm done decluttering and let you guys know what I ended up deciding because sometimes I can't make the decision on the spot. However, for this one, this is my Rare Beauty Bronzer in Power Boost. You're gonna see she is loved. Let's see how much I have left of her. Okay, that's actually not even that much. I have been, ooh, that's a terrible sound. This is the most blendable cream bronzer you will ever find. If, if I wish that they had a cool tone shade that worked for my skin tone, I would be all about it, but it blends like a dream, so that I'm keeping. And then I have the Halo Glow Contour Wand from e.l.f. in the shade Fair Light, and this is another really good option. I love, it's more cool tones you can see there. Um, so I use it as more of like a contour, but again, it blends really easy. I don't love the packaging, but because I love the product so much, I am warming up to it, so we're gonna keep that. And then let's see, I've got this here from Mented. And technically this is a foundation, it's the shade Skin L10. Um, they sent this over to me in PR, which is why I have it. I'll do a little swatch for you right here. And I was like, you know what, like let me try and use this as bronzer, like I have it, like it's here. Um, Cause it, it's obviously not the right shade for me for a foundation, but truthfully, like I don't love the tone for bronzer and I just never, ever end up reaching for it. So I am gonna declutter that. And then I've got my Fenty Beauty stick here, which is in the, in the shade Amber. And I have not reached for this in so long. It's kind of gone a little unnoticed in my collection, but it's a nice cool tone, but you can see it's not quite as gray as the e.l.f. shade. Um, I'm gonna keep this. I used to love this. I just haven't reached for it for a long time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make an honest effort to use this more. So from my cream bronzers, we are going to be keeping these four and these two are declutters.
Okay, you guys, so here we have my powder bronzers. If you guys can hear someone speaking French in the background, that's my boyfriend. We're both working from home right now, so here is what we're working with. Um, I'll just start with something easy. I have my glowish bronzer here, and this is what it looks like. I can't remember the shade. It is the shade 01 Light Soft Radiance, and I love this. It's just like so easy to blend into the skin. I thought it was gonna be a little too dark for me, but it's actually like the most perfect color. Oh, that swatch kind of weird because my hand, I just wiped off my hand with a baby wipe, so it kind of is like showing up weird. Um, but I promise you on the skin, especially like with a brush, it just looks so, so gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep that. I've got this bronzer here from Kevin Aquan, which is in the shade Sunrise Light. It's a Neo bronzer. And I have not reached for this in the longest time. I used to love it. Oh, it feels so good. Like it's like the perfect, like it's not gray. It has more of like a rosy undertone. Oh, okay. So I feel like this is why I need to go through this collection so I can be better at using my bronzers because I've kind of forgotten about this one and it looks so beautiful. So I'm gonna keep that. I also have this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer here, which I am gonna keep. It's the shade Fair, I wanna say. Like you can see it's all rubbed off. And I've actually hit pan on this bronzer twice. You can see it keeps breaking on me. I know it literally looks like a setting powder, <laughs> but this is the most easy, like effortless bronze for fair skin. Like if you just need the tiniest, tiniest bit of color, you cannot go wrong with this. I have like a full review I filmed years ago on it when I first got it, um, but this is a continued favorite. I just wish that the formula was a little bit more sturdy, but I'm gonna keep it. I've got a bronzer here from Davina. This is the shade Sandbar. This used to be such a favorite. I have not reached for this in so long. It is very hard to open. This is one of the reasons why I don't reach for this bronzer that often because I genuinely, oh my goodness, I cannot. There we go. That is ridiculous. Okay, so here's what she looks like. She's a really good shade. This is another really beautiful tone. It's kind of got that like rosiness to it. Oh, I don't know. I like. I can't part ways with it, but you know what I might do? I, I'm gonna see if I can find a different compact, maybe even the one from Elite Cosmetics that I decluttered the blush from in the last declutter. I'm gonna see if I can fit this bronzer into that compact so that I'll use it more um, because I just always have trouble opening this one. And sometimes I'm just doing makeup fast. I just wanna get the product on my face. So I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna try and make it work for me a little bit better. And then let's see, I've got this Milani bronzer here, Silky Matte Sunlight 01. I don't remember liking this one. Does that not like low-key kind of look like a nipple? Oh, it's very soft. It kind of looks similar to the Charlotte Tilbury tone, but it just has more pigment. And I feel like if I remember correctly, this was kind of patchy on me, but I'm not a thousand percent sure that I'm remembering correctly. So I'm gonna put this into my maybe pile. And then we've got the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, which is another product that I use as a bronzer. I feel like it's kind of funny, like this collection, you can see like I've got so many highlighters and foundation and whatnot that I'll try and use for bronzer. Like if it works, it works. Um, so this is a beautiful highlight on a lot of people. On me, it's like a beautiful glowy, like kind of bronzer topper, has like the most stunning sheen. I mean, look at that. Like it looks bronzy on me, but it looks so, so pretty. Again, this is one I haven't reached for in a while, but I don't know if you can tell, like it's like almost flat, like there is no curve to it. I've used so much of it. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this one. It still has a special spot in my heart. I've got a bronzer here from Truffle Cosmetics. It's their sponge bronzer. Um, I don't remember anything about this. I don't even know how I have it or why I have it, um, but it's like a very, very warm brown. Like that's not my color. That is gonna be a declutter. Okay, next in this like fancy little pocket here, I have my Kevin Aquan contour in the shade light. And I love this, like I'm not decluttering this for sure. It's like the perfect powder contour shade. Um, it's very fancy. I mean, I don't know why I've kept it like still in its little pouch all these years. I remember being so excited when I got this and like, look at that, like it's just so perfect. Um, I actually have the NYX contour, which I would say these are kind of similar colors. Sorry, I'm keeping this if that's not already obvious. Um, this is the shade Taupe. This is like old school beauty YouTube. Um, but this one, I don't like as much as the Kevin Aquan. Like, I feel like if I didn't have Kevin Aquan, I would keep it. I would keep making it work, but you can see it's a little, like it looks kind of funny there. It looks much drier. Um, 
And I just feel like when it comes to a product like this, what I'm going to reach for, this is not it. So I'm going to declutter it. But I might use it for a video real quick, like before I declutter it, because I have this idea of something I want to do. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, another, another easy pass. I have a Morphe bronzer here in the shade Glitterati, the Brontour. Um, it's kind of like a highlighter and a bronzer. This highlight is literally so hard. Like I feel like you could sand furniture with this. And then the bronzer just feels dry, dry, dry. I used to really like this. I would mix it together and kind of get like a little glowy bronzer moment. But I literally have not reached for this in so long. I don't even really like Morphe. I don't really have any like feeling towards this bronzer. So I'm just like, mm, get rid of it, you know? Don't, I mean, you don't have to do that. If the product works for you, keep it. Um, but I just don't use that ever. Okay, let's see. Now I have my Fenty Beauty bronzer. And you can see I have Pit Pan on this one, but I have not used it in a little while. It's called the Inda Sun. Um, this is another one I really need to use more. I kind of went through a phase where I wasn't wearing bronzer, but this is another really, really great shade for fair skin. So I'm gonna keep it and try to use it more. Do a little swatch right here. You can barely see it, but low key, like to me, that's like the sign of a good bronzer for my skin tone. Um, I actually have two different NARS Lagunas. So I have like the OG, which is like sticky and old and disgusting. And I remember buying this and being so excited, not even realizing that this was a very, very poor choice for my skin tone. And then I have like the new Laguna, which I got in like a sample. Isn't it so cute? It's like a little like aged mommy and a baby. Okay. This actually still feels really soft. So there's what Laguna old looks like. Here's what Laguna New looks like. Old, new. The new actually looks like it has like a touch more yellow to it, but the pigmentation seems about the same. This is a hard one for me. I feel like I could keep the new one, like if I'm being realistic, this is better, like it's newer, it's probably more hygienic. This I've had for so, so long, and it's literally disgusting. It is disgusting. But at the same time, it's like hard to get rid of because like, I got this when I didn't own like barely any high-end makeup and I just remember it meaning so much to me. I like, every time I went to Sephora, it was like going to a theme park. Like that's how excited I was. I feel like the haters, the haters, actually the realistic people who probably are making logical decisions not based on emotion would say like, just get rid of it, but I'm gonna keep it, sorry. And I'm gonna keep this one too because this is the one I'm gonna use, but I'm probably not gonna use the other one, but I'm gonna keep both. And then I have a bronzer here from Vesca Beauty. This is the Kiss by Rio bronzing powder. I really liked this. Again, it's kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Fair Shade. This was an indie brand, and I believe that they actually closed down their business, which makes me sad. There's what it looks like. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like, I remember liking it. I'm gonna put this in the maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh my goodness, this is such a disappointment. This is my Kosas bronzer in the shade Light, and this is going to be a, 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 a goodbye because for one, it's literally broken, and I don't know what happened after using it for so long, but you guys, like, pigment does not want to come off of this. Like, I feel like it used to be so pigmented that I'd have to be, like, really gentle with it, and now, like, rubbing, I'm, like, literally getting nothing. Um, it, like, hard panned or something. I don't know. Has this happened to you? Uh, so that's like decluttered, but like it's like decluttered to the trash kind of vibes, you know, not even vibes like that's where it's going. I also have two bronzers here from the bomb. So I've got the bomb desert, which is another really good, like more contoury esque shade. It has a little bit of rosiness to it. It's not super smooth. Hmm. I feel like I feel like I don't need this. I really don't because again, I just feel like if I want something that's like this tone, I'm gonna go for one of my Kevin Aquan bronzers. So that's gonna be goodbye. Sad, good, so long. I've got Take Home the Bronze Bronzer, which is a really good one that doesn't, like it's not cool tone, but it it's neutral. It has no warmth. It just feel, feels so silky to the touch. Like that is a beautiful bronzer. That, mm, staying with me. Okay, last but not least, I've got a CXC Beauty Defined Radiance Bronzer in the shade N1. Um, this one, like, I kind of showing just the back where it has that because there's no, there's nothing on the packaging. Like, it's so boring and lame. Um, unfortunately, like, I wish that there was anything at all. 
um, but here's what it looks like and this is a nice shade it's like a very smooth like silky powder I honestly feel like I used this when I first got it I really liked it and then I kind of forgot about it so I'm gonna keep this and again be more diligent in using it we've got two maybes here um, which is not too bad I mean at least I made decisions mostly So total, I am decluttering seven bronzers. Okay, y'all, so total of what I'm keeping is 15 bronzers. So I decluttered about a third, a third of my collection. Um, but it, like I said, it wasn't like a huge amount of bronzer to begin with. And to be fair, like one of them is a super tiny mini. We've got this, which I don't know that I'm using. I'm just keeping for nostalgia. Um, but overall, I feel the same way when I finished with the blushes where I looked at the pile and I thought these are all bronzers I really love, bronzers I reach for, or bronzers I want to reach for more. But like, I feel happy with how this looks. So that is my bronzer declutter complete. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know which section of my collection you want to see next and I'll see you again very very soon. Bye!